This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers. Okay, since it's 6.05 p.m., I think we'll officially get the meeting started and start off with welcoming. So <laughs> it's my first time through this, so bear with me. And if I falter along the way, Rebecca and others, yeah. please feel free to pick me up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Welcome to the February 20, February 23rd, 2022 meeting of the Community Relations Committee. We would like to thank East Hampton Media for posting our recordings on YouTube. All past meetings of the CRC can be found on East Hampton Media's YouTube account for viewing at any time. To those of the public that would like to reach out to the CRC, we can be reached at crc at easthamptonma.gov. Mm -hmm. All committee members and participants in this meeting are gathered remotely during the COVID-19 pandemic as permitted by Chapter 20 of the Massachusetts Act of 2021 entitled an act extending certain COVID-19 measures adopted during the state of emergency and signed into law on June 16th, 2021 by Governor Baker. Okay, mm -hmm. so for the benefit of those who are joining us from the community, um, I'd like to start this meeting by sharing our com committee's mission statement. Our mission is to promote positive relations throughout East Hampton's diverse population. We will work to build a sense of inclusion, community, and pride where community members feel welcome, accepted, and valued. So with that being said, I'd like to start off with a roll call. Okay. <laughs> Rebecca Prasa. Here. Emily Britton. Here. Margaret Kirstein. Here. Okay. Jan Norman. He's probably going to join late after he's done with a client. Okay. Ebenezer Afukarama. We need you to say it so that we can learn it. Yeah. Okay. I, I think you might be having that. some audio issues on your side. We can see your mouth, but not hear you. Uh -uh. And then <laughs> lastly, Myra Oyatsumi here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So welcome, <laughs> Mr. Darren Dean. Good to see you. Um, as we get through some of our formalities. So next on the agenda is the approval of minutes. Um, thank you, Rebecca, for those minutes. They're from the January 26th, um, 2022 meeting. Mm -hmm. So um, do we have any discussion? No, okay. Is there a motion to approve the minutes of January 26th? Okay, we have our first um, <laughs> by Mar okay, Margaret. Mm -hmm. um, I think it has to be verbal, Margaret. Mm -hmm. Am I correct, Rebecca? Well, it's ideal because usually, yeah, see, I don't even hear Margaret right now. Maybe she's muted. I'm muted. I was, uh, uh, yeah. I, 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 uh, now I can't even remember what I'm doing. I propose a motion to approve those minutes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. It, it, maybe as long as we repeat ourselves, but uh, I guess we are having trouble hearing Dr. Ebenezer right now. Mm -hmm. It looks like he wants to second, but yes. we don't hear you. <laughs> I see your lips. So we have a second by Dr. Uh, Ebenezer. We cannot hear you. I'm not sure if your audio is booked in or not. I, there I you are. I, 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 
There we go. We have a second. That's good. Derek, we just we we're new at this. We don't know what's going on. That's all right. I, I'm trying my best, but it looks like we're all holding each other up. So great. <laughs> All right, so next on the agenda, number four is. Oh, I Alex guess we Smith. better vote, though. So we have. A oh, wait! We didn't even vote. <laughs> okay, thanks. So, <laughs> uh, how does that go, Rebecca? Um, so let's uh, hold a vote on the minutes. I'll go through the roll call. For approval of January 26, 2022 minutes, um, Rebecca Prasa. Approve. Approved. Emily Britton. Approve. Yep. Oh, I'm getting a message. My internet connection is unstable. Yikes. Margaret Kirstein. I approve. Okay. I guess I don't say that, that one. Uh, Ebenezer. Uh, for Rukuma, and please let me know if I'm getting right. Approve. I approve. And Myra Oyadzimi, I approve. So yeah. all present approve the minutes. Thank you for that. Thank you. All right. So next we have announcements. Are there any announcements and or correspondence? Yeah, I have to go back in my memory banks, but... Um, I don't think so. I think, I mean, we've got some stuff to say, but later in the agenda, probably. Okay. So, so, um, I mean, maybe what we would want to do is, is say that we successfully arranged a meeting time with Dr. Lomax Campbell, and we also successfully arranged a time for um, our meeting each other. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But apart from that, I think I don't know anything else. Okay. <laughs> so with that being said, last time we were meeting, we were about to enter Black History Month. So I'll just say, hopefully you all had a chance to be in observance of some sort um, throughout the month. Um, okay, so I don't see any members of the public or community here at this time. Um, so I think we can move from number five, uh, which is to number six, <laughs> I think, right? So that is the follow up meeting with Derek Dean of the Department of Justice, Community Relations Service, mm -hmm. uh, including discussion of strategic planning, updates on progress made, current thinking, current goals, resources needed and valuable, uh, needed available and program priorities and materials presented. So, um, Dr. <laughs> Eben, we have uh, been, you are, there is a new member, <laughs> mm -hmm. so you'll see a new face, both of you. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm not sure how much of the strategic plan you had an opportunity to see. So mm -hmm. anyway, I guess we can begin discussion mm -hmm. on that. And first of all, a welcome and a hello. Oh, I didn't mute my phone. <laughs> Welcome and hello, Derek Dean. How are you? Well, hello, hello, hello. I'm doing well. Good. To have see you moved you. to Massachusetts? I, I I have not moved, but my, my uh, phone number is going to change to an eight five seven area code in the next week or so. so I'm wow. Close. Huh. wow. Okay. <laughs> You're getting closer to us all the time. Yeah. <laughs> well. Welcome, you, Derek, Emily, and Margaret, and Doctor. May I call you Doctor Ebenezer? Yes. Pleasure to meet you. And Myra, mm -hmm. I'm going I'm to uh, step out on the limb here and make a couple of guesses. Myra, you're the new chair? Co-chair. Co-chair. <laughs> With Emily. Emily, excellent. <laughs> well, congratulations to the two of you. Yeah, thanks. We have the uh, 
fabulous, oh, fabulous Rebecca, who is our secretary, making all things run. <laughs> Okay. She is our IT department, our total IT department. Yes, total. <laughs> yes, I try. Totally one thing that I, one thing I want to mention, though, I didn't mean to be unfair to all of the any and all members who have doctorates. I mean, I know Dr. Ebenezer has a doctorate, but mm -hmm. I think Dr. Margaret Kirstein does too, mm -hmm. and I probably don't know who else does. <laughs> Emily, Dr. Doctor, Doctor Dr. Emily. Mm -hmm. So, so well, I, I you know. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's how you're going to learn about each other. You yeah. know? Oh, that's true. We can discuss that then. Okay. Very mm -hmm. good. That sounds mm -hmm. great. <laughs> and <laughs> it will also be a good time to discuss what you'd like to be called. <laughs> yeah. Well. Um, mm -hmm. So, yes. Mm -hmm. um, so, there was like, I, I did type of a bunch. So I guess one, it's good to have you. There's been some changes, mm -hmm. uh, new faces, some old, older, not older faces, <laughs> well-known faces um, have, have left. But we're happy to have Dr. Eben with me. Um, we have certainly been working since we last met <laughs> and we'll have a few report, you know, successes and ideas to report out. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not sure how we want to go about it. Like, do, do we want to do like a recap? Well, well, just really, for me, it would be beneficial to just be extremely informal. Okay. Um, and, 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 and so other than, so you have some changes in leadership and then mm -hmm. is there, there like um, now funding available to you guys? Yes. Yes. Okay. Have you guys used any? Well, I believe we're, we're, planning, we're using. planning on using it. We're gonna, yeah. we're gonna throw money at things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. But Myra and I spent some money when we did our first outreach event. Okay. Yeah. I have. I tell, tell them how. Tell them how much you sent and on what. I know. <laughs> I spent $68 on cookies and about $30 on printing. <laughs> what about hot chocolate? Did you get any hot chocolate? No, we didn't do that. Yeah. So, so what was your first outreach meeting? Uh, we went to um, the Winter Fest, which is an annual event in East Hampton um, that draws a lot of families. And um, we had a, a table um, next to one of the most popular events, which is buggy rides with some horses in replacement of sleigh rides since there was no snow. <laughs> and we, um, Myra and I talked to everybody who stopped at the table and handed out 125 cookies and um, collected, collected um, responses to our survey form, which was an awesome awesome form that Rebecca and Myra worked really hard on and I had a little input that they were like the spearheads. It was awesome. And we got some responses and uh, yeah, it, I mean, like small percentage compared to the 125 cookies, but I think it was a success. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah. Well, it's ticking up. I checked. You know, we oh. initially we only had a handful, but now I have to say we have like at least a few handfuls. Oh, good. So good. that's that's good to see. Yeah, yeah. And have the responses have they been helpful? Um, I think it's not closed yet. Uh, yeah. We just. Like it was first just at the event with the QR code and we do have like okay. four other ones. So I think it's incoming. We still, I still need to look at it. Mm -hmm. The response is some more to get the different data. But from what I gathered mm -hmm. there, most people were, the respondents were from East Hampton. Wait, mm -hmm. I have this open somewhere. You know, Deb, um, I also wanted to... Hold on. So yeah. most of the responders were from, uh-oh. From yeah. East Hampton, mm -hmm. let me do a summary. Yeah, I think. Um, yeah. Okay, sorry. And there was a lot, a, a wide variety of demographics of folks that responded. Um, 
which is great. Mm -hmm. um, people were able to tell us what they found appealing. Mm -hmm. um, and there were some questions about it being a welcoming city and what people, um, you know, their feelings were most were neutral. Mm -hmm. um, and some folks had some particular comments that I'll have to read through. But um, overall, let's see, most it's kind of a split right now uh, of the respondents. Most oh, would like the highest percentage was to promote educational opportunities. And the second highest is to promote strong neighborhoods and connections. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's in line with what we heard um, as we were discussing with people. And mm -hmm. most would like to attend future CRC sponsored events. So that is all. Mm -hmm. Good, because I haven't looked at all the comments, but I think we'll get a lot of information from that. Mm -hmm. And we yeah. just shared it out. Yes. Yeah, Evan was here, Evan. yeah uh, I think, yeah, um, I try when I got the questionnaire from the CRC portal, I also tried to forward it to other, you know, is something platforms, because there are a lot of people on other platforms and mm -hmm. within the is something community which mm -hmm. i believe we need to reach out to them so mm -hmm. that is what i think we should do because mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. as you rightly said we want as many people as possible within the community mm -hmm. to give us an idea so that based on the data we can be able to mm -hmm. decide on what to do within the community mm -hmm. so one I don't know the time frame we have for the questionnaire right. to be out in the community. Right. So right. my suggestion is, I think we should extend the time frame so mm -hmm. as to be able to bring a lot of folks in and mm -hmm. then on our part as a community, I mean, members of this community committee, mm -hmm. we should be able to sort of market mm -hmm. the questionnaire to people so that mm -hmm. they can read it and then be able to answer the appropriate questions in it. Right. And I don't know how, to what extent we are going out to reach out to members of the communi community. Because mm -hmm. one, it's not everybody that is available on the internet. Some mm -hmm. of us, we are here most of the time. Mm -hmm. But what about people within the community? And so are we going to get the appropriate responses from our community members or not. So that is something I want us to look at right. so that we think about it, yeah. So I viewed the, the form, oh, the form is, it wasn't, didn't want it to be, well, I don't want us to digress too much, but, but it's not to, meant to be like a, a one-off. So that's why we had it be something that wasn't just present for Winterfest, but people can have an opportunity to fill it out there is a paper-based version. We did offer that there. Um, so, and we did have four respondents <laughs> that we actually got faster than uh, the online ones. Mm -hmm. So it, it is still open um, and it's been spread on different Facebook platforms just um, by a few mutual friends, but mm -hmm. I think we can spread it further and it's also on our our web page i believe it's on our i'm not sure yet is it on our web page yes i was presumptuous okay. enough hi hi margaret yes so i i put it on there yeah. i was going to say that um having seen it now the um you know made me think about how would i answer is east hampton a welcoming community and that question um jammed me you know, I couldn't really answer it exactly. I, you know, so neutral is, I, I, you know, if most people are neutral, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's as good a question as we can come up with. Mm. You know, not uh, really, but in the time frame for Winterfest, oh, no, 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 I'm not criticizing. <laughs> I don't mean that. I'm just saying if we're going to have something like that ongoingly available mm -hmm. and use it in different other cookie events or whatever, mm -hmm. um, that maybe we can just fine tune it a little bit to give it a little bit more flex. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what it needs. I just know that I, mm -hmm. I couldn't answer it with ease. 
Mm-hmm. And maybe it's not supposed to be entered with bees. Maybe it's maybe a reflection not. point. Um, but that being said, we wanted to just not be able to hand out cookies, but also get a true, you know, a sense of community and have people reflect and also get input. So the biggest, the biggest, um, and I'm not just saying that because I helped make the form, but <laughs> it's, it's that we wanted a, a purpose to have been there besides, sure. you know, being right. nice right. and interacting, but also get that sense of input to help, um, Mm-hmm. help our further ambitions. So mm-hmm. uh, it doesn't need to be our final community. I, let me not say that, but it, the thought wasn't that it's a final community. No, no, I, I, I understand that we are, we are a work in progress, if nothing mm-hmm. else. Mm-hmm. And, um, and, that's, and Derek, one of the things I wanted to say is that the only other member of the group now is Jan. And I, you know, and so there are six of us. Okay. And that, that's that's the whole shooting match. Mm-hmm. So are there plans to expand that number? Mm-hmm. Yes. We do hope so. We've but heard that. In the mayor's hands. Right. We're supposed, the visions that we remain 11, at, mm-hmm. that the makeup remain 11, and I'm not sure how speedily the process is from a point of application to recommendation for appointment. So I think that'll be a further conversation mm-hmm. because we did hear people that were interested in mm-hmm. joining the committee um, that spoke to applying, um, but we haven't heard obviously the outcome. In fact, um, we're just appreciative. <laughs> oh, would you like to speak to that? Mm-hmm. I saw your hand go up. Oh, mm-hmm. Dr. Eben. Yes, um, you know, again on the questionnaire that we have online, my um, problem is we have people that may not be able to have access to the internet mm-hmm. and be able to complete the questionnaire. Mm-hmm. Yes. So my humble suggestion is, for instance, the big e can we have a paper copy and place it there for people to complete mm-hmm. cvm in 7 11 can we have a paper copies there so that people come there and they complete the mm-hmm. laundromat and then the village pizza you know mm-hmm. i think that we need to have paper copies mm-hmm. though we are moving from paper we need to have paper copies at strategic points within the city so that the members in the community can have access to and then compete accordingly. Mm-hmm. Right. So I think that that will go hand in hand with our outreach as we're reaching out to, to people in the community and being purposeful in that. And our form may evolve. It was, you know, something to target the community at Winterfest. Um, mm-hmm. But we just I, okay i see the you know importance of gathering not just that select group because there was just a few number of respondents so we want to of course get more mm-hmm. i don't have a qr reader <laughs> i will admit that but also um so paper paper works well uh mm-hmm. i'm not sure of how that scope and things can will mm-hmm. plan out in terms of timeline and the uh, the idea, but I think the intent behind that is great. It needs some some planning mm-hmm. um, in terms of collections, in terms of yeah. you know mm-hmm. talking to people who may mm-hmm. be. I won't be there explaining it in every business, <laughs> um, but how it might be explained to others because we did explain um, mm-hmm. quite in detail to folks that were willing to fill it out. So in lieu of our presence, what would that look like? But. Mm-hmm. I think we will have time to speak about that as we move in our agenda because that is Winterfest participant survey results and follow up. <laughs> so it's an overlapping conversation. So well, we'll actually, I think I just really one one more question, maybe two. Um, yeah, we've got a lot. Do you guys to have a, uh, a like a program that you're planning if it's not already scheduled, but then to schedule? So for example, just, these are just examples. That, that have come up perhaps in the past, but uh, whether it be a dialogue, some type of program or event, that type of thing? 
Okay. Yes. So, <laughs> so we have, uh, according to your planning, like some near-term projects and like a midterm project. Our, our near-term projects and what we wanted the results from our survey to be were people who were willing to be hosts and or attend like something called a gathering of neighbors. So we're um, hoping to build first build community mm -hmm. um, and host those. We don't have a timeline other than when it gets warm. So we, <laughs> we need to create that timeline and when it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And also go through our data to see who is it that, you know, would like to host. Mm -hmm. um, we want to, so, so to build that. Okay. And then I'd also want to talk too much either. We can all feel free to share the good news. Yeah. Um, so that's, that was our, our baby step is to build community with well, residents well, and organizations. We also talked about um, using ten. We have ten thousand dollars, and and Emily and Myra took a big chunk out of that for that <laughs> Winterfest, you know. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> oh God, life on a shoestring, right? And so, um, so we talked about, and this is one of the things about meeting with Dr. Campbell on Friday is to talk about the undoing racism and offering that, whether it's to, we're not sure to whom, but, you know, just, um, you know, how many bodies we can, we can pay for and uh, what groups we, as the Community Relations Committee, want to target, including, you know, members of this committee being part of that, whatever. So, right. mm -hmm. um so I think that that's we were thinking about that maybe happening like in June-ish, right? Or right. So yeah. that's our that's our midterm goal is to have the educational. Mm -hmm. But I think that will reveal itself once we have um, our meeting on Friday mm -hmm. um, and hear a little bit more in detail. I've heard a bit, but also the the group. Um, we'll get to hear more about what's proposed mm -hmm. and if that is matching our vision. Mm -hmm. um, but some of our other short-term goals were to wow. develop some liaisons um, mm -hmm. within the community to other organizations mm -hmm. and um, other committees. Mm -hmm. So that being said, <laughs> another short-term goal is to create some subcommittees. So we're kind of building our building up our our momentum to holding an education and building uh, educational and then building community and then like getting to know members that we can uh, you know have some commonality and do things with and we met a number at winterfest so that was great <laughs> mm -hmm. so people identified themselves as being able to um to wanting to work with the group or the committee um some aligned things and so those are our near term, our near term projects, and there's a lot of near term things, <laughs> but mm -hmm. things that need to happen. Uh, you know, oh, go ahead. Oh, and I was gonna say, I I have a question um, for you, Derek, like to help us figure out um, how how um, this will like fit into our strategy, and um, yeah. So, for example, one organization that I made contact with at that event um, is the East Hampton Youth Coalition. And like, I was very interested like on a personal level um, because I care about teens and substance use and media addiction and that's their target, but they, they have educational programs. So I want to know like how much the CRC would ever collaborate with them. Hmm. And then also like, for example, I've also volunteered for the East Hampton Film Festival, which is coming hmm. up. And how much should we, you know, sponsor a movie or, you know, have any sort of presence there, you know, like, so that's the sort of stuff I want to talk about if not tonight, sometime, like. 
Right. Yeah. How do we keep our own identity, but also like be useful with our goal? Right, right. Oh, I think that sounds wonderful. Can you tell me the name of that teen group again? I'm pretty sure it's East Hampton Youth Coalition. Youth Coalition. Right. That healthy, sounds fabulous. Healthy youth. That yeah. sounds like a really fabulous idea. Yeah. So if, if youth are allowed in the in the uh, uh, the fighting racism, if I got the name wrong, undoing racism. Yeah. Um, you know what a treat if you could sponsor some youth to participate and hear their voices. Oh, mm -hmm. That would be fabulous. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and maybe not this year, but next. You know, give a youth a camera and have them film and create a small mini film about inclusion and or whatever. Welcoming mm -hmm. at East Hampton from their perspective. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. in those cases, a couple hundred dollars would go a long, could go a long way and in, in, in spark engagement. Yeah, good so, point. So just yeah. great, great ideas. Uh, I want to give, and I don't know what, whatever would be most appropriate, either a hug or a high five. <laughs> for, uh, <laughs> for, for, this is just, uh, this, this is absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys are amazing. <laughs> we'll take all of that. <laughs> and then I will forward to um, Rebecca when I get when I get off here. There is a, a, a group that meets, I want to say monthly, but perhaps quarterly. I'll have to go back and check. And it's a co it's a consortium or a coalition of all the human rights commissions uh, in the state. Oh, oh great. And they meet uh, I want to say monthly and just talk about whatever issues come up. And uh, um, it's an extremely informative meeting full of good people. It's ran very informally. They, they, they base all decisions off of consensus, et cetera. Hmm. But again, it's a, it's a, if you just want to get a, a sense of who's out there doing this work as well and what they're doing it, mm -hmm. uh, in the state, it's, it's a great organization. I think that's great. I know oh, that's it's come up before, like wanting to see what other other no, connections are doing. You yeah. be Derek, mm -hmm. Derek, do you have their contact info to share with us as a group? Um, if I had all your, I don't have your email, Dr. Ebenezer. Otherwise, oh, okay. I would I could email it to everyone. Yeah, I think I will send my email in the chat so that you can let me know so I follow up and. Get in touch uh, you you may or may not be able to chat, but okay, uh, yeah. let me say oh. that things that come to me, I'm okay. happy to share. Okay. And then yeah. it may well have Derek Dean's email in there, and certainly, uh, once you have that, you can write to him and say hello. Thank you. And and when do we get to see your new digs in Boston? But oh. never mind, you know. Well, <laughs> this is totally aside, but with. Uh, yeah. Well, anyway, you guys, I will definitely keep you guys informed of. Okay. Uh-oh. We just oh, lost him. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure he'll be back. You'll be scared him. <laughs> oh, what? Uh, I scared sure. him. Yeah, he, he hit the wrong button, I think. Oh, yep. Oh, the unmute. <laughs> so. All right. We'll hear oh, from you. That is good. Yeah. That I'm sounds good. Sure. Somehow, somehow, I don't know, Myra, you just gave voice. You've made sentences out of what we've been kind of like blah, blah, blahing about for months or years or something. Thank you. Okay. Welcome back. We knew we would just keep the, the light on. Oh, but you're muted. Uh, Derek, you're muted, just so you know. And just don't hit the wrong button. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, I'm working out of a... <laughs> I hit the wrong button, but I will definitely keep you guys posted in, in terms of where I end up in Massachusetts. Okay. And um, I think I, it's going to be, be in East Hampton. Yeah, uh, East Hampton's is a welcoming place, you know. And it's you definitely never know. a possibility at this point. Um, but I'm going to try to be there in March. And so again, um, I will email you all. And if there's anybody, if I'm able to make that, and if there's anybody that would like to join me for a lunch, um, I would love that so I could actually see you guys in person. So mm -hmm. I will uh, send that communication as soon as I can confirm um, uh, when I'll be there. Okay. And, and, and if you can't Excellent. make it, you can't make it. If you can, hey, um, I would love to meet you guys in person. Thank you. Thank you. That'd be great. The look we haven't work. met each other in person. <laughs> we're we're, we're, we're going to meet in, uh, in virtual. 
in in about a week and a half or so, two weeks, something like that. Okay, okay, okay. Well, again, uh, keep up the great work, you guys. If you don't mind, maybe in about another 90 days, I'll just pop, ask to be invited in and see how you guys are doing. Sounds like a plan. Dr. Ebenezer, nice meeting you. Take care, everyone. Now, did you need anything? Did you need us to sign off on this okay. document? I mean, I guess I, I don't remember if I provided that to Dr. Ebenezer, so maybe we still need to look at it. If you guys uh, maybe, are really excited, I mean, that would be fantastic. Maybe you can just remind us about that document. Me? Right now? If you don't mind. Is that okay? Sure. So, so Dr. Ebenezer, uh, your colleagues went through a, a rigorous, if not treacherous, uh, six or so months with me. <laughs> and we went through this kind of, uh, you know, what is an HRC? Um, in, in terms of kind of nationally, how do they position themselves in terms of the work that they do? What's the real, what are the, the challenges that they ex experience and, and, and what kind of, from all that, what kind of CRC did East Hampton want to have and create? And then we went into some more specific um, strategic planning, if you will. Uh, we, we did an internal survey. We took all the recommendations that were in the ordinance in um, Dr. Cam uh, Lomax's uh, blueprint, East Hampton, and then the mayor's working group on police reform, all had recommendations specific to the CRC in, in terms of what those organizations or the ordinance kind of saw as what this what you guys could be doing. You voted, and I don't have it in front of me, but the two that your public said as well, I know uh, Strong Neighborhoods was one of the things that this group voted on, mm -hmm. as well as education. So um, the, the, the group voted on, you know, let's focus our efforts on that. And then we tried to get a little bit more granular um, and, and talk about specifics. It mainly boiled around outreach, which you guys are, are doing. So you're, you're really on track. I tried to capture that to the best of my ability in an overly verbose document. Um, and, and I presented that to just kind of sh share this is, what was accomplished. Um, if you guys are willing to sign it, that would be you know, absolutely fantastic and great, uh, but there's no arm twisting here at all. Uh, but, but so Dr. Ebenezer, just before, and, and we concluded, I think in November-ish, memory serves me, October, November-ish. So um, yeah, and, and, and so that was the journey that uh, they were on with me for, for several months. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're, you're muted. Thank you very much. And I believe that uh, pretty soon, Becca will send me some details of the report or the outcome of that meeting so that I can also study it and be able to inform myself accordingly and be able mm -hmm. to contribute positively for a greater is something. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. And then just, just uh, also, if there were any changes or anything you wanted to, to to fine tune or add to, let me know, and we can we can add to that or take away whatever it needs. It's your document, and so um, thank you, Rebecca, for reminding me. And um, if there's any feedback on that, let me know. If you're willing to sign, please let me know. Um, and um, yeah. And then in about 90 days, uh, I'd like to just again pop in because you guys are my favorite group of uh, folks in, in uh, Massachusetts. And what else can I do on a Tuesday or Wednesday evening? So, uh... <laughs> oh, you're very kind. Okay. <laughs> but I will be in touch. And um, I'll be in touch with Rebecca. If, if they're willing to sign uh, or, or Myra or Emily, uh, please, please let me know. And if not, it's OK. Um, but I will look forward to you, the MAHRC, uh, to all of you. Oh, great. Um, and, and Dr. Ebenezer, I'm going to hope that it gets forwarded to you. Um, Thank you. And then I'll also let you know if I'm available in March. I'd, again, love to meet you all. Thank you. I, I won't dominate your time, your meeting. Thank you. Good seeing everyone again. And I will talk to you soon. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Right. So I think a lot of what we covered is what we were going to touch upon <laughs> as well. And that would, 
that was a good refresher, Rebecca, because I actually forgot about the, the document. I know it was sent on some time ago. I so, yeah, that was yeah. I could resend unless people don't want that. Um, what, what document are we talking about, Dr. Campbell's? Mm -mm. No, this it's is like from... all the steps. Oh, from, from our, our work, strategic our strategic plan. Mm -hmm. Right. I might, ha yeah, I don't know. I mean, I printed out a lot of things. I have to, I would have to look. Yeah, it's I didn't realize, called... it, wait, uh, yeah. For some reason, <laughs> I feel like it was easier to talk on Zoom. I don't know. Anyway, um, I didn't realize that we um, needed to sign it. I didn't know. It's always, it's always been voluntary, but yes, that's been on the table. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. Yeah. What, what, why, why wouldn't we? I mean, I think that, I think that we have actually moved away from some of the thing of leaning, well, le making the, um, you know, neighborhood, you know, strengthening neighborhoods and things like that, or getting more feedback and, you know, uh, yeah. Dr. Ebenezer's, uh, suggestion about going through laundromats in the Big E is great. You know, all the, I mean, all this stuff has teeth, you know, kind of moves and, um, you know, so why wouldn't we want to sign it? Even if, even if some of our goals alter a little bit or change a little bit. Mm -hmm. So maybe it can be a future agenda item for review just to go mm -hmm. over and have a little discussion. Cause I don't, I'm not sure if we're all into we wouldn't individually be signing, but probably signing as a collective, but oh, yeah. with our individual signature. So maybe that can come on an agenda in the future and allow us time to read it over. Cause honestly, I can't recall the whole doc. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Does that sound like a, sound like mm -hmm. a plan? Okay. All right. How are we doing for time, Miss Emily? <laughs> it's quarter to seven. We're doing beautifully. All right. Yeah. So uh, then, Dr. Ebenezer, so one thing that we hope to have is onboarding, you know, like, uh, <laughs> so you won't be kept uh, unawares, but ideally we'll have, you know, some sort of onboarding so that you can be up to up to date. Um, well, he, he can maybe join um, the subcommittee. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, he, he could he could offer recommendations since he is the newest, and we kind of hadn't. Uh, right. Yeah, I did. So that that's an aside, but I did have like a little bit of an onboarding, which was helpful, but much Good. after. Mm -hmm. So on our agenda, we have um, number seven A, which was Winterfest. Is there any more you'd like to say about it, Emily? Yeah, I guess um, I would like to know um, uh, if how I should respond to Anne. I mean, can, I can tell her what I might personally like to do with you know my other volunteer time, but um, Who's that? I, she wants. She said, um, "Let me know if you'd like to set up a virtual meeting with Rebecca and me. We'd love to have work with you." Or have you work with us? So I could say, you know, I'm I'm happy to work for you with you, um, but the CRC also wants to meet you. But maybe I should meet with her first. <laughs> oh, so, Who is Anne? Well, Anne, Anne Talley. Anne Talley is a master's in education. She's a community health worker, outreach coordinator with the East Hampton Healthy Youth Coalition. Oh, okay. So this is the Youth Coalition. Okay. So yeah. And from the Youth Coalition. Okay, that's good. Yes. yes. So, yeah. um, so I can also share the letter with all of you. I could read you the letter. Like, like I don't know what the next step should be. Yeah. So quite honestly, like, I feel like she's reaching out as a component of the CRC. Like, I know it might fit in line with what you're doing, but mm -hmm. it also fits in line with what the CRC is doing. Mm -hmm. And I won't say, like, I have emailed her, but that was in a different capacity mm -hmm. um, when she reached out to work with other organizations. So I think they're trying to make organizational connections. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And... Uh, so I, I would love to hear what she would like 
mm-hmm. um, to do in line with mm-hmm. creating connections. I have spoke. I won't. I have spoken to her a little bit before. So, mm-hmm. uh, any- so what? So what if I contacted her and said the CRC would love to meet with you? These are the dates of our next two meetings. Our questions would include how can we help you or how do you see us helping you or or how would you like to go? Well, how can we partner? How can we partner? How can we collaborate? Yeah. Um, and and then she can let us know when they can come and we can pray that they can come. Right. Well, and it I doesn't have to be so big. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I have a question. I might be interested in bumping a letter E subcommittee list up because here's a, another question about this outreach. Right. It is that if if there's a meeting with a subcommittee, then it doesn't have to be a public meeting. Right. Right. If they come and meet with us, it's going to be recorded and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And I feel like if we are creating subcommittees, which I think is wonderful, mm-hmm. and if there's a subcommittee that mm-hmm. at least wants to mm-hmm. meet and think about the outreach and how we how we want to do it, mm-hmm. what, what do we want to say? What are our questions Mm -hmm. and when there's an organization like this how do we want to do it i mean that might be a great subcommittee Mm -hmm. set of questions Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right and i'm not thinking that subcommittee doesn't necessarily have to do all the outreach but they have they have recommendations to the whole you know is it better to have a a a less fewer than a quorum meet with Mm -hmm. Right. organizations in town so that it doesn't need to be recorded or Most. you know or, yeah, or do they sooner yeah. and it can also happen sooner right exactly right. yeah well that's then, a- i was just gonna say it and then the point I, I think for our outreach also is like building those relationships and those don't necessarily need to happen in in a formal meeting mm-hmm. um you can meet for coffee <laughs> you can attend their meeting actually they're having an event mm-hmm. um I, I don't know i for some reason i want to say it's wednesday mm. i'm not sure if it's tonight i feel oh. like i'm missing it oh no Fuck. um yeah it's always posted on east hampton parents um page Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um but so they they i want to say it's this evening but i could be wrong i could be misspeaking Mm -hmm. um Mm -hmm. so anyway i i just feel like outreach okay wait wait. (laughs) now we're skipping agenda items rebecca (laughs) <laughs> well, well do, you, well, do you even want to consider subcommittees generally before going through this list? I mean, that's yeah, fine. If, if, if the answer is no, that's all right. No, I think that's a good idea. I, I agree. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So have we finished speaking about Winterfest and all of that? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah except you for, you know, probably ex- except for the outreach piece, but that can be part of. Okay, so I did have one more thing to to speak about um, the Winterfest, and I think maybe this can be brought up as we brainstorm. But so that form was officially swapped out on the page, um, which did have a little bit. So I needed to remind myself to say that. So being swapped out, um, the past input form. Mm -hmm. Uh, which had two components like one was related to incidents and the other was related to like recognition so right now this one is kind of a a placeholder for that Mm -hmm. but we didn't want to make that disappear in its entirety because we know I I listened to your hard work at the time Mm -hmm. Um, (laughs) uh, and and that they were coming up so Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe that's something that we come down the road and discuss is, you know, incident form and and recognition form in addition to what we've created for um, getting community feedback. So that was my last thought about that. And then I know, Dr. Eppen, you had some ideas about, um, like, making it accessible. 
So do we want to switch that topic now or can we just finish this part up? See, I think some of that is definitely an outreach question or that really is okay. related. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think when we're thinking about committees, subcommittees, we can kind of think about how that's included. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So let's go to E. We had subcommittee list. I had our list. I don't know that everyone had. I didn't put a top three there, but I can just read them off again for your mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. listening pleasure. Um, the idea is this is just an idea because we're few, um, but there's multiple things that need to happen. So the idea is maybe we can pick a few that of interest um, and knowing that they won't happen all the time mm -hmm. um, and maybe working on things concurrently. But anyway, the first one was forum and that was develops and executes community events and educationals. So they mm -hmm. would take the lead um, mm -hmm. and, and planning, you know, for things that, that we'd like to see, that people would like to see and participate in, or that we mm -hmm. feel needs both pre proactively and, and reactionary. The mm -hmm. second was outreach, in which we create liaisons to existing commi committees, mm -hmm. organization, and community. So building mm -hmm. community network and trust is the goal. Mm -hmm. um, bylaws, <laughs> not my cup of tea, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, that was create a living document in relation to community <laughs> policy, mm -hmm. procedures, and practice. Like what is what are our, our practices and policy for public speech, roles, definitions, and officers onboarding, which would be very helpful to new members, um, which is ongoing welcome of new members with goal of orienting members to strategic planning, bylaws, current and historical CRC events. Two more, sorry, I've been reading my word. Finance and budget, and that's to exist in project projecting an annual budget as well as the budget perspective specific events and track and document your spending all 60 bucks of it <laughs> and lastly um digital communication so we would create digital content maybe even paper content um and liaise with content distributors or a personal mm -hmm. person applicable personnel for purposes of forming and publicizing ongoing crc initiatives platforms etc like our Facebook, our website, East Hampton Media, or mm -hmm. the reminder, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So those are those are all of them. Um, I, I foresee, I, I had some ideas um, when it came to, to outreach specifically, and then it doesn't have to take place in the form of my, my idea, but I was thinking that, um, it, it could be a subcommittee, or we could also assign ourselves to different mm -hmm. um, committees or groups. Um, I don't think one person can do it all, <laughs> but yeah. for, so for instance, um, I can't do it anymore, but. Um, Wait, hold, I, on, hold on, Myra. I'm wondering if, um, if somebody, maybe Rebecca doesn't have to be, could have the spreadsheet of the committees on the screen, share it, Ooh. and then we can start filling in the names. Well, um, didn't we already fill out a little survey about what committees we wanted to be on? So did all of us do that that are here? I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. I, I was, did. I was I did. thinking we could do it during the meeting. I wasn't sure if we were allowed to do okay. it prior. Okay. So right. you can well, you know, we can also just verbally say it. You know, right. I mean, <laughs> we can look at our grid or we can verbally listen, just say it. I think once Mara has the Excel spreadsheet, let her put it on the screen for us or to see. Okay. I choose my well, preference, but yeah. Well, with you. but I Emily think, and Myra have to fill them out. Well, yeah. I don't really verbally. I mean, like, no, I'm I'm happy. I'm you know. 
so Myra has given me some things that I then put on the CRC Google. And for whatever reason, the one I have does not have responses. Uh, let me see. I have to remember yes. how to share screen. Wait, I yeah. would, mine isn't uh, editing either. Yeah, so somehow right now I've got this. Here it is, subcommittee interest form. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And if I had any responses, it would show a number right here. If I click that, it says I don't have any. Well, okay. I filled one out. I can, oh, I can see. I'm filling it out now. I can confirm that I completed mine. So mm -hmm. I don't know why you are not getting any, you know, responses. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, somehow, I don't know if there's a confusion between uh, mm -hmm. the one, and because Myra, you created one and then I put it on here. So I don't know if there's a compu confusion between those yeah. two. So, yeah, so I can't submit. No, wait. Oh. Let me see. So why don't we just do it really quick? Why? Why okay. we obviously with a piece of paper. We obviously have to work on whatever that was, but that technical issue. But right. why don't we just go through each of the subcommittees and who's going to be on them? And Jan will be the only person we don't know. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. And I think the thought was probably because there are six of us in six committees, right? Was the and so the idea was that we choose our top three. That if, or, every, <laughs> if everybody, it, it depends, some people can choose their top three, or if they're it depends on your level of availability. If you're like, I can only do this one, you know, you were able to just choose whatever you were interested in. I'm not sure if the one that I have is what what I sent, or is it the edit version? I'm I'm not exactly sure. Okay. So but well, I wasn't let's able go to through it. Let's just go through. Dr. Eben, you want to say something? Oh no, I just want to say my my background is in digital information. So I want to go for digital and then the outreach committees. I mean subcommittees. Mm -hmm. The digital right. and outreach right. subcommittee. Yeah. So mm -hmm. can we just go through and write like I'm just gonna write your name down mm -hmm. next to digital and outreach. And yeah. Outreach, yeah. 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 Or there is there is a um Rebecca, are you there? I'm here. Do you see me? You're, You're frozen, frozen visually, but we can hear uh, you. There's a okay. there's a spreadsheet which is less, you know, <laughs> where you where I think she can capture it. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. So on here somewhere there's a spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. You know, I might freeze when I switch tabs, you know. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, I saw a hand raised. So, so I was gonna say that I wanted to be on the form and bylaws. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and I had a third one, which, uh, I'll do if no one else will do it is the finance and budget. Okay, great. And I'll say I wanted to be on outreach for sure. Um, possibly digital. I kind of want to step away from forum because outreach did take me a lot of time. Mm -hmm. um, so, okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, my first would be, <laughs> so this is where it's tricky. So the first, I feel like I have to do forum. Mm -hmm. I don't know why just feel like i'm compelled to mm -hmm. have to follow that through not that i mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. so in the second would be outreach and third would be onboarding i really thought the form would be really cute and simple mm -hmm. <laughs> like you can just check it off and then you have it for every you know right right anyway. well, no, I, I don't know what happened i thought i had a response but i don't know it's there just uh, aren't any um so I, I even remember my choices. So forum, <laughs> <laughs> outreach, and onboarding. Right. So Rebecca, I have a feeling I know which ones. You know what? I'm just noticing an email from Jan. Mm -hmm. 
he's been Where's trying to get on our meeting. I'm sorry for the distraction. I wonder if this thing tells me what our meeting link is. I, I would just say he's on the wrong link. Mm. Uh, mm. Let me just tell him the link referred to in your email. Is oh, it's okay. Zoom link. Yeah. Let's see if I can find. So we can put um, calendar. That's a drag. So I'll just put well, my first choice here is for I'm writing in the doc. Oh, I'm writing there. Myra is under forum. Okay, I'm sorry about that. So Rebecca, Here. what committees do you want to be on? Um, yeah, I'm just looking. I wrote, took a note of your choices. So I had felt like I was on the bylaws committee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, And uh, I'd be interested. I th felt like I might have skills I could add to digital. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they're all very interesting to me when it comes right down to it. I mean, maybe forum as well. Is there anything that we're ignoring? Let me see. No. Yeah, I will have we all will have to do budget and onboarding with me, uh, because <laughs> because those are the only two that have one person. Right, right. <laughs> It'll right. be fine. Whatever it is, onboarding <laughs> doesn't happen that often, and budget stuff really yeah. doesn't think will happen that often. Right. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, for the onboarders, just so you know. When we had our training, we got a, a notebooks originally, you might remember, and the mm -hmm. city, like Lindsay, has a copy of that. So if Evan, if Dr. Evan doesn't have that already, he could get a copy of that from the mm -hmm. city, from Lindsay. Yeah. And maybe yes. the onboarding right. committee can help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and mm -hmm. I was going to say, I'd be happy to find a time to meet I, I don't know all the historical context being that um <laughs> second to you i'm one of the newest people here <laughs> um so i don't know all the historical context but um one of the previous co-chairs did sit you know speak with me a bit and and spoke about it so mm -hmm. i can at least get you up to date mm -hmm. um Mm -hmm. and share some things with you, like the strategic planning summary. Um, mm -hmm. But we can choose maybe a time. Mm -hmm. That's, mm -hmm. that's free for you. I, I'm on vacation this week. Mm -hmm. Just that. Okay. okay. Great. Good. Um, All right, so what is our next agenda item? Uh, the forum subcommittee. Yep. Getting to know. Okay. Forum subcommittee. So we were still on the subcommittee list. Yep. All right. Great. So at least we have an idea. And then maybe we can, for those that are having like interest, we can, we can all connect at another time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So uh, forum subcommittee, we are scheduled. There's no update other than we're going to be meeting with Dr. Campbell on the 25th at 5:30 and hear, you know, his some of his proposals, um, his thoughts, his vision, and then also that that's really it. It's it's a, a working session. We're going to be listening to mm -hmm. what, how would he would like to follow up with. Um, yeah. some of the educationals. Yeah, so I have a question, like, um, how will we, um, you know, I don't know what he's going to present, but I loved Derek Dean's suggestion that we, that we as the CRC sponsor 
some people to go to the next undoing racism. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so like how will, like, seems like maybe the full committee as opposed to just the outreach or the forum subcommittee or the finance committee should decide oh. what, what portion of our $10,000 do we want to put towards it? Oh, of course. I mean, I think the the committee as a whole will approve any of this. I mean, mm -hmm. just getting that information. And, and so, you know, I think some of it is going to be the nuts and bolts of dollars and cents, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, you know, and so the schedule. Mm -hmm. And then let's say we figure we can have 20, we can pick 20 people, you mm -hmm. know, or whatever. And then mm -hmm. we'll, we'll discuss and figure it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I think subcommittees generally would come with recommendations to the committee, especially with spending money. I think that uh, mm -hmm. the whole committee would have to at least vote and say, okay, mm -hmm. subcommittees don't have vote power. No, okay. They no. might have due power, but not mm -hmm. vote power. Okay. Because yeah. ideally we, we may want to, Okay, maybe this comes later, <laughs> but we there are some ideas. To, I do have some other ideas how to spend some money. Mm -hmm. Not paying myself. That's the only thing we're not allowed to do. Um, but um, right, so little ten thousand dollars. Right. I mean, I think supposedly there's stay. I mean, we need another update from the mayor. Her her yeah. update was rather vague. I yes. found it vague, and. Um, you know, so we're good. We're good right now. I think yeah. ten thousand goes a long way around uh, this for this next forum. Mm -hmm. I'm doing racism piece, and mm -hmm. so that sounds great. I mean, yeah. we'll be, mm -hmm. you know, I think we'll be in kind of. So I'm, I'm thinking for this meeting, we'll be in listening mode, and then at our next meeting, we'll have to sort of reconvene to see if what's presented. You never know. I know Margaret and. And uh, Rebecca had a fabulous <laughs> attendance. So, mm -hmm. um, but we'll, I, I just want to just to be open and, and listen and mm -hmm. see what he's proposing. Yeah. You um, know, I also, even in that, I'm going to, I want to talk to him a little bit about how, um, God, I can't, I'm sorry. I, the name of the organization just flew right out of my head. Um, Third Eye Network. Excuse me. Third Eye Network. No, not not Dr. Campbell's. Uh, the the People's Institute. The People's Institute. Oh, thank yeah. you. You know, I don't know how they collect data or or whatever, but I would be so curious because the one that Rebecca and I went to, everybody was a town employee except Rebecca and I and this other woman basically, and I would be so interested in what those townspeople um, and employees felt about it because, mm -hmm. you know, um, it would really, I think, inform us remarkably mm -hmm. about where we want to go with it, what we think about it. You know, for whatever reason, Rebecca and I, you know, had this fabulous time or something like that. And, uh, yeah. you know, and right. I don't know that everybody else was right. quite as enthusiastic. Um, right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Everyone's different and they may not have had the same feeling about it. Absolutely. No. It'll also inform who we should decide to sponsor for the next one. Right. right. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. And also that the town, I mean, East Hampton will potentially be providing money for this as well. This isn't mm -hmm. just the CRC's uh, little bit of money that, right. you know, when the town has set aside other money for this purpose too. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah, we only have ten thousand dollars, and apparently a training costs thirteen thousand dollars. So we can't pay for it all anyway. Right. Um, yeah, oh, I was gonna say something. I just spaced it out. You're gonna have to sell cookies, Emily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and they have to be homemade. Right. Food is free and no nuts. Right. Oh, I know what I was gonna ask. The um the follow up that he that he um was you know wants to organize does that follow up um right. include, include an, a chance for everybody to share how they 
felt about it. Oh and yeah, I mean, I would before we yeah before we even come up with our people that we'd like to be there. It would, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that, that I mean that's what I want to ask him about about that mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. next step for that particular group. And and we weren't the first group. I think we're the second or third group. Right. So um, you know, like that's a lot of data around an experience that people mm -hmm. from here went through. Right. Right. So there was one in August and then October. Mm -hmm. or July, so then, August and October. Well, so then is that all? So there's only two. So that's about 45 people, I would say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Something like that, so, maybe 50. So maybe, um, do you think it would be helpful for to get to, to like, for those that'll be there on Friday to maybe draft some questions in advance so uh -huh. and maybe we can send them so that he knows what you know topics that we would like to know about in addition to what he wants to share. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we can send some questions mm -hmm. or compile them. Rebecca, would you like us to send questions to you? to send out like that's fine if you'd like them compiled i'm happy to do that okay so i can send some mm -hmm. okay <sighs> okay so one question for him might be does he have separate separate communication um with the mayor and has she indicated when a third group will be organized? Um, well, the town's third group may not be our group. Right, right, right. Who knows? Well, we could- The town's third group. Yeah, and, and has she indicated if she wants input into the attendees? You know, is she, is she dividing up the attendees between, you know, 50% mayoral sponsorship and then the other 50% up to us or other committees. Right. I, yeah. I mean, that's a piece of it. Just to know if there's a third one planned and mm -hmm. the mayor may have the 30 people that she wants to go to that. I mean, ours isn't dependent on, right. on that. It just is right. a piece of information. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's the people that were finding interested in the community connections or the people that were liaisoning with for other committees that weren't mm -hmm. in it last time. So I've written it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will type it later. So we'll send some questions that we want to Rebecca, that we want right. to give so for a Campbell in advance. Yep. So for context, Dr. Eppin, there was a training that took place. I want to say they were three-day trainings. Um, it, mm -hmm. it was funded. Well, the mayor funded. had funds for it. <laughs> I believe I'm not believe that it came from economic development. Um, and so the heads of department were in the city were required to attend. And there were also some community members invited. Um, and it was uh, quite, it was not cheap <laughs> at, at all. I, I can't remember. I want to say in total of 27,000, but I could be misquoting. Um, so. Well, you know, if, it, if it's 13,000 a shot, then 27 would be two trainings. Right. Mm -hmm. So Margaret and and Rebecca had the opportunity to go. Mm -hmm. I did not. Well, I did, but I wasn't able to attend. Because mm -hmm. yeah. it was three days. It was a Friday. I can't remember if it started Friday afternoon or Friday it morning. It was Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so... so so it seems like there's a few follow-up conversations that have to happen, like after we get the info. Mm -hmm. All right. So our action step is to send some questions 
Rebecca's way. I would probably say you would want them before Friday, <laughs> before Friday at noon. Yeah, which is pretty soon. <laughs> which is pretty so, soon. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Um. So are we set to move along? Yes. All right. Getting to know you. So we have the time and the date. I don't remember the time. Four. But four. March sixth. That. Oh, that's a Sunday. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll be back. Um, any outstanding questions? Well, thank you, um, Rebecca, for sending that document about getting to know people more authentically. Um, I think that was helpful. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and thanks for the um, uh, introduction to you. I loved reading that. My Sadly that I didn't get back to you about that. Came, I read it right before going to work. And what are you, are you, what are you talking about? Rebecca sent um, oh. a description about like her name. You know, a little history about her name. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter what you call me. See. <laughs> oh. Right. Oh yes. Yeah. No. And Dr. Eben picked a nice one. He called me Becca. You yes, know, she's, she's, oh, I like a, a few people in life, a couple people have called me. That's, that's really sweet, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does, can I just make this, well, I think it would be appropriate actually for for all of us to know each other's credentials, our work history, mm -hmm. uh, what where we went to school, you know, I mean, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was, you know, like I have no idea why you have this week off, except I know you have children, right? My, so that kind of thing. <laughs> I have no idea what you do for work. At that all. is okay. That's funny because I know what everyone does except for Dr. Evans. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I'm feeling that you probably are in the same circle with my husband being in digital communication. Mm. Well, Dr. Evan. So, uh, okay, informal. Let me just introduce myself because I am the newest comer. Mm -hmm. I think for the past two years, I have been teaching at the Greenfield Community College in Greenfield, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been teaching computer information systems. Mm -hmm. awesome. And originally, I came from Ghana in West Africa, mm -hmm. so uh, I am an African, let me put it that way. Mm -hmm. So, and then for the past eight years, wow. I've been in the state and teaching between Framingham State University and then finally coming full-time at Greenfield Community College. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, uh, like I said, computer information system is my area of specialization. Mm -hmm. However, my doctoral research is into telehealth or uh -huh. how best can we use information technology in huh. the health sector. Huh. Wow. Yes. Oh boy. Yeah, but we'll all have lots to talk about. <laughs> oh, okay. but, so, so let, and, and right after my degree, I when I came to the seat, I started a nonprofit, which I call Telehealth and Assisted Living Center. And this started from Worcester, Massachusetts. And then aim is that we can use technology to make individuals become independent. So for instance, your, my mother somewhere, she went to the hospital, they gave her medication that every morning 8 a.m you have to take this medication. One, depending upon the person's age, she's likely to forget that 8 a.m. she has to take a medication. So what happened? Technology has been developed such so that something will prompt her. There'll be an alarm at exactly 8 a.m. that, hey, take your medication not until that individual takes his or her medication, the alarm will not stop. Mm. And mm -hmm. by so doing, at least it will encourage you 
to take your medication at 8 a.m. And through that, you become independent. Mm -hmm. So maybe Margaret is going to work at Holyoke. The mother is in Deerfield. She mm -hmm. can't go back to Deerfield and tell the mother, mom, take your medication. No, mm -hmm. the equipment will prompt mom mm -hmm. to take medication at 8 a.m. And Margaret will be happy and then go to her work. And that makes her mom an independent person. So mm -hmm. I believe, and my, my resolution is that we can use technology to make us or make individuals that are disabled, no matter their form, become mm -hmm. independent. Mm -hmm. And that is what I am for. Mm -hmm. yeah, interesting. Yes. Thank mm -hmm. you for sharing all about, <laughs> thank you for sharing a bit about you. I'm sure we're gonna get to know yeah. a lot more. Yeah, more yes. yeah. <laughs> Well, the, what I was going to say is that I am, even though it's a little weird, but I am going to send everybody my resume. Okay. You no, know? yes. why not? I mean, I don't know. This is a, a short, a shortcut. It's right. like, boom. Yes. You know, done. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I, I think, yeah, I'm also yeah. going to send a little profile about little myself profile. and then uh, you can, we can take it from then and be able to ask questions mm -hmm. as, you know, we want to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Send you my resume because I'm not working with you in my work capacity. No. Oh. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. no, but those are the skills that you bring. I mean, I think that that's our history that we bring to the work. Yeah. And I mean, there are a lot of things on my resume that are not on my resume that I do. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a property yeah. manager. I'm, you know, I used to be a realtor. I mean, th that's not on my resume. You're right. That's not my professional resume. Mm -hmm. You know, last last week, a friend told me, oh, Dr. Ben, your resume, your, your CV is 15 pages. Yes. I, was, <laughs> I wasn't expecting a 15-page resume. Mm hmm so in a nutshell, who are you? <laughs> right. Okay, so we could, you want, we, that would be better. Exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. So I will say that we should be able to condense all this number mm -hmm. of experiences that we have, mm -hmm. professional experience here and there. Let's try to con condense it into maybe a two or three page document right. so that mm -hmm. people will see the qualities that we can offer so mm -hmm. that the CRC of East Hampton will become an effective machinery to ensure the peace and harmony of every individual in our community. Mm -hmm. That is it. Our experiences should help us to shape our community. And some of us, that is what we are for. And I believe mm -hmm. all of you, all of us here, that is why we are here. You know, no matter the experiences we have, the, the two or three summary of all the experiences mm -hmm. that we think we can use to shape is something that is mm -hmm. why we are all here mm -hmm. okay yeah thank you thank you for that i'm thinking of my approach as though i were to see you in person right and get to know people so mm -hmm. i'm not going to give you my relic resume, but you can feel free to ask questions. I do have a lot of experience. <laughs> As you know, I've had a very, some of you know, I have, have had an interesting life. Um, but if I were ever to come to a coffee shop, I don't think I'd ever bring a resume to get to no, know. I so, well, you know, maybe we I should won't. spend a few minutes just talking about, there's gonna, let's say there's six of us there. So how do we structure that so that people Get right through, back. Mm -hmm. You know, talk to each other without all talking at the same time. Um, right, right. Uh, we could do like I've done improv. We could um, we could do something like tell your story in three minutes. So we have to like rattle it off, and so like whatever comes to mind or whatever we find important comes out. We could also we could also we could also also and we all need to guess who it is you know um sorry we could yeah. have breakout group break into just two of us 
and share like highlights from our life. And then we go back to the main group and we say, you know, like, so I met with Myra and one of the highlights of her life was, was this, did I get that right? Myra? Yeah, you got that right. And Myra shares my highlight, like, you know, and of course, oh, like in a breakout group, we'd be sharing a whole lot more detail, but, and then we'd get to know each other a little more. Yeah. We I'm, kind of did that in the beginning. Yeah, doctor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about if we decide to partner with the various businesses within the community so that mm -hmm. certain days we decide to oh, look today, we are going to the village pizza shop. Mm -hmm. We are going to XYZ restaurant in the community so that we can, as we gather there and begin to talk among ourselves. I believe some members of the community can also join us because one mm -hmm. thing I believe is, you know, more and more people want that kind of community-like lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Not situation whereby you live in an, you know, an est, I mean, an apartment, mm -hmm. even the person next door you, Mm -hmm. you, you have not even spoken with that person before. Mm -hmm. But I believe that there are some people within the community, which I think they are, they would just like to come and speak with us. So, okay, mm -hmm. we say we advertise. This week, the CRC of is something we are going to partner with maybe the, oh, the, um, the pizza, the union. I mean, some of them I patronize them, so I'm able to... We are going to partner with maybe some club or restaurant on a particular street, this address. So join us. So when we go there, it's just are like an you open sure forum. Are better than the would-be gods? Are you ready to receive my yes. What's that sound? Yeah. So it's just like an open, open forum. Let's invite the people to come and speak their mind, tell us about the same. And then we also share our experiences with them because some of them believe that, well, we are just technocrats that have been handpicked to be members of this committee. No, but we need to let them know that we, and we, we, we understand the community. We are community-minded individuals. So it is not just a technocrat that we are up there but we understand what is happening in the community and we want to help every one of them. So once we avail ourselves to them, they will realize that, oh, we are not like a castle. They can easily approach us and tell us their concerns within the community. So I believe that we as a CRC should find a way to reach out to the people because we are here because of them. So that is something I'm suggesting to uh, Becca, if she can also think with others and see how best she can arrange series of meetings within the community so that we can meet the individuals within the community, teach out with them. Because one thing I have realized is there are some people, they have issue. Okay. Now, if... I, mean, I, I don't mean to interrupt you, but... I think we really, uh, I mean, I, I was talking about how we want to talk with each other, not about, I mean, you're talking right. about, I think, outreach. And okay. until you're in a subcommittee, I think that's the place to talk about outreach, okay. not here right now. So this Thank is you. a good segue. We'll, we can loop back to how we want to interact with that. Sorry, I had to attend to some issues with the kiddos. Um, uh, but it's listed as letter F on the agenda. So we can <laughs> we can loop back to that placeholder for when in meetings when we have hear really yes. great ideas. Um so we can come back in a little bit. Okay. That's thank a, you. Yes, that's thank you. Yes, so we can keep are we yeah. going to get to letter D? Well funny enough, letter D is on my computer, but I think I still need like 20 minutes with that minute. <laughs> Oh, wait, that's not even the right one. So, okay, wait, here, here's my letter D. I have started on the document and I haven't had a whole, although there's been a lot of time, I haven't had a whole lot of time to sit with the document. I started compiling it and I think I need like 
20 more minutes with it. So mm -hmm. apologies, but I've just been a bit busy. I know I brought it to the group. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't thinking that I would um, have a last word in it, but I am working on it. Um, mm -hmm. And I will share it with you after I give like another 20 minutes with it. Mm -hmm. that's, uh, sorry, that's just there it is. But thank you for doing it though, thank you. Okay. Just didn't, and I didn't want to forget that. So if that's yeah. the report, then we could skip down to F. Well, did you come back with the getting to know you part? Yes, Emily. I just wanted to ask what subcommittee does that satisfy, Myra? And then do you want to just, when you're finished with that 20 minutes, share it with the subcommittee? And then, and then, then we'll be done with it. Um, Let's see. Where would that be? Like I, I trust the subcommittee with it. Does it really need to go back to all of us on March 23rd? Because that's a whole other month from now. Honestly, you know? what subcommittee would that be? Is that outreach? Mm. That forum? Or is it digital communication? I know. I know. <laughs> we need to decide. <laughs> I would say that's either outreach. Or yeah, I suppose, but it, it really doesn't have one. So when we have statements and and things like that to say, I don't know what that would fall to. Um, but I could reach out to the people who originally wrote it and send it back to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Um, and, then, and, then, and then, I mean, I think it's fine for you guys to just go forth with it. I don't okay, think we cool. need to wait until March 23rd. All right, great. Yeah. I will I will send it um, to you once we finish and I get a little more time. All right. Yep. So are we good? Uh oh. We lost Dr. Eben. So <laughs> which is where I wanted to mention letter F. <laughs> oh. Maybe he'll join back. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll see. So letter F is just what it says. It's not a document yet, but um, the idea is to create like a kind of like a parking lot. So am I? Mm -hmm. Okay. So when we have great ideas um, mm -hmm. in meetings, like we don't, we don't, one, we don't forget about them um, mm -hmm. and they can, we don't have to leave it all on the table, like during in the meeting and kind of digress, but just mm -hmm. the document we could write the idea, perhaps even if there needs to be a budget for the idea and maybe what under what strategic plan category it would fall. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that will help as we're planning out um, and ideas come uh, whether so that we can mark them. So the idea is to send you a, some sort of spreadsheet that has that information where we mm -hmm. can, so you can mm -hmm. see it and we can maybe put those ideas in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. And Rebecca, I'll ask you if we're just discussing, if we're not discussing, can we ongoingly add to that? say or would that how would that work oh what an interesting question so there's no discussion but say i wanted to write something about this is an actual idea <laughs> for when we have our um our um gathering of neighbors like to to make some signage mm -hmm. like those little mm -hmm. lawn signs that have the logo so in that ever's house that it's taking place you'll have the logo there so people will know it's a crc gathering of neighbors like mm -hmm. so right. if i were to type that in to like mention for budgeted item you know uh, yeah so, and then we could know to put it on like maybe an agenda or not forget it or right I don't know. um 
I mean, I am just like hastily looking at a document right now. Um, um, I feel like even contributing to a document can be interpreted as deliberation. But what if, um, what if we have a document started that people can see and maybe if we designate somebody, like let's say you write emails to add your additions and then I put them on there and then report each meeting. I mean, I feel like the way around this is as long as it's included, the updates being included um, in the public meeting so that the public knows we're not hiding anything. The okay. idea is we have to deliberate with the public access. Okay. You no. Know? Or so maybe even I don't write on it yet, but I receive the input and say, okay, we've received this and I'm putting it on here. Because I think it's great that people, um, when we have ideas that we, we make notes, right? So that it, it could come into the CRC email, I would think, right? Mm -hmm. And get put on there ultimately. Like, yes. Yeah. So for instance, like Dr. Eben's idea of like, all right, so this is something we need to remember. We want to have paper copies distributed of the input form community input form and then we yeah. just write it there it right. happened during the meeting but sometimes yeah. there are... you see right now so right now we're in a meeting so the public mm -hmm. can hear this so this is mm -hmm. all fair so i could go to our google drive right now and create a spreadsheet for ideas i'm just you know some plain google sheets and uh that way i'm saying i'm creating an um, ideas, let's say parking lot. And so the first item we want to put on there is um, what distribution of, of like paper copies of our survey to um, by, by like by placing them with local businesses. I know he said the laundromat. Um, another idea he had, and he's here right now, was mm -hmm. the idea, I mean, if we get to the point where we can meet together, let's say to have coffee together. Um, now, well, you know, the mask mandate was lifted today in East Hampton, which I am not happy about. Well, I'll still wear a mask or Me whatever, too. you know, if you right. like, because I, um, but but um let's say let's say we said let's get together i mean we're going to meet together personally on zoom on march 6. let's say we decide let's have coffee together at tandem bagel on such and so day um first the first thing i want to say is i actually wouldn't invite members of the community to say anything because once we talk business we're violating open meeting law this would be to get to know each other, but mm -hmm. I feel like um, perhaps our outreach people could could kind of, while we're at tandem, say, you know, we'd like a relationship with you, and can we put our surveys here, and, you know, <laughs> this is who right. we are, you know, right. and at least accomplish that, but anyway, but, so but for purposes like of creating the spreadsheet, sure, let's, let's create the spreadsheet. Um, okay. Yeah, because I just want to make sure everything is on the up and up. Because I was saying some ideas you may not you want may not want to discuss them at the the monthly meeting. Maybe you want to discuss them at your subcommittee meeting. Right. And that yeah. idea comes up there. Um, or maybe someone in a different subcommittee wants has an idea and you know it needs to be discussed by say finance. So mm -hmm. is that would I then email and then we would all look at like, I was just trying to think of the logistics and sorry. Okay. Well, so trying to think about how to be efficient with time and then also sharing ideas. Right. So, so subcommittees need to be fewer than a quorum. So we can mm -hmm. have three, three on a subcommittee. 
And I think those three, they can email, write, and create documents and do it as a subcommittee of three. And that way we're not violating the law because it's not right. a quorum. So you could be creating your documents um, probably anywhere the subcommittee thinks is convenient. And then a subcommittee can make its recommendations to the larger committee and offer the document, perhaps. Okay. But if we keep like a committee list of ideas, so, I mean, let's say, for example, let's see, uh, I guess I, I share screen like this. Actually, I have to have the window appearing. <laughs> so let's say I create it's so it's so faint here I think it's that one right so I create an ideas document here it is so public can can see it okay, wait a second your screen is I have to make it bigger okay I have to make it bigger so that yeah. you can even see it it's really itty bitty <laughs> that's too big <laughs> that is too big <laughs> how about a little yeah that's good i, I don't mean, know what's on the on the left column here but this is oh, I see. you just this made it uh -huh, gotcha yeah i mean i just put those things right just right. just distribute paper copies of our survey right uh meeting for coffee i just put it on there great uh my thought is if people then email me i can have those and then when we have a meeting I can say I'm as announcements. I've received these, and the, these are going on there. That's way we're doing everything in front of the public. Right? We're we're a quorum here, and I've just created that, and we are doing it in front of the public, which is fine. But subcommittees can correspond and create things, and they. They could report it to the whole meeting when they're ready to do that. Okay. But so we have an open meeting law to go by. Um, I It may be part of onboarding to consider. Uh, um, I don't know how the city is letting Dr. Ebenezer know the, of trainings that he should do like that. And it may be that um, onboarding could, can consider that too. Um, but one consideration is that so um, it's much better to invite the public to our meetings because then we can discuss. Well, we might even have to say they can talk during the public speak and then we add things to our agendas, but we've got some strict open meeting guidelines to, to adhere to. So we can't really go to tandem and say, OK, public speak to us. We won't be able to speak back. We would, we would go to Tamdom to get to know each other better and not speak about business. Yeah, so. Yeah. Thanks for the reminder, Rebecca, that's helpful. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I mean, I mean, our outreach, you know, at Winterfest, you know, we, we got input from them. We told them what, our plans were sometimes, but but you weren't a quorum. You were a subcommittee, right. right? And even I showed up there, but it's even still only three, right? So so that's yeah. fine. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And that that again. So that so when I'm saying like, let's say you want to meet with healthy youth, uh, whose name I'm going to forget too. Yeah, East Hampton Healthy Youth Coalition. If yeah. they'd like something more private, then subcommittee mm -hmm. members can meet with them or mm -hmm. a couple mm -hmm. people that, or yes, you yourself or, you know, mm -hmm. and, and maybe if you know from the subcommittee or even asking the larger group what questions, you know, at some point for outreach, we want to kind of figure out what questions we want to ask, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so you could, you could be our emissary, Emily, you could ask your questions and then you would know our questions and mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Anyway, right. Just, just right. thoughts, but yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Great. So, so just, um, so I'll be emailing Dr. Evans and Myra with um, dates to talk to Anne and Rebecca from the Healthy Youth Coalition. Um, and we can ask them all sorts of things, but it'll just be three of us. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm aware of the time, and I mm -hmm. would like to end. Is there yeah. anything else we need to talk about? We just need to pick our next date. Well, I think I think we have March twenty third. Oh, March twenty third. Okay, yeah, that's the next formal date. We have a work session in two days. Right, right. on the twenty fifth. That's mm -hmm. right. Um, so I'm I'm not yes, so we have our date. Um okay, so March twenty-third is our date. Okay, thank you. Got that. At okay. six. And then the um the the twenty-fifth is Friday, is that five thirty? Is that what it is? Five thirty. Yes. Okay. And we also have our getting to know you, which is really not public at all. So. Mm -hmm. right. right. And you'll send us our Google Meet, um, Rebecca. Um, I, I, I'll reset. It's on Zoom, and I'll resend the Zoom. Oh, it's a Zoom. Okay. Yeah, I hope you don't mind. You know, I. Oh, do... I don't mind at all. I, Zoom is good with me. I Zoom is very uh, familiar. Good. <laughs> I mean, Google Google Meet has been convenient because we have this Google account, and then I didn't have to worry about conflicts with the city's Zoom. Mm -hmm. The personal meeting is on a private that I control, but, mm -hmm. but Jan, you know what? I got home. I had to join right away and my phone quit and I didn't know that Jan tried to call me. He said he was waiting to be admitted. I didn't see, I mean, I saw Derek Dean waiting to be admitted. I saw Ebenezer just now, mm -hmm. but so somehow Jan tried to join us. So I'm not sure Google Meet's that good for him because I don't know. So it didn't. I didn't see his effort to join. Right. Mm -hmm. So maybe um, we can somehow know which which are our perhaps subcommittees, and we can email one another. Um, mm -hmm. But it sounds like we're good to wrap up. Yes. Do we have a motion to adjourn? Motion. I shall move. <laughs> <laughs> I second and third. <laughs> okay, so do I need to go to the I roll call? <laughs> do, do, really? What if, what if we accept Emily's motion and Margaret has second, thirded, and however many we need? Because <laughs> okay. I'll have to write it down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So. The motion to adjourn. We're taking our vote. Rebecca Prasa. Yes. Emily Britton. Yes. Yes. Margaret Kirstein. Yes. Ebenezer Akafaruma. Yes. Ira Oyutimi. Yes. See you soon. See you in two days. All right. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Thank you. This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers.